Guys, it's Friday. Since I've been battling this cold this week, I didn't get much posted for right now. Today, we're gonna give you a week in review to kind of catch up on what I didn't give you during the week, and hopefully you guys like it. It's Heroes Day here in Jamaica. This bridge is between this tree here and this tree here, and they're clearing a little spot to show exactly where it is. Uh, we now have access to this zone four area. I just got an email from uh, Bearcat. Marty Carroll, the manager over there, just said, we got this, don't worry. There you're gonna contact them and we're gonna move on. There's where the banana circle is. And we're on the other side here. <clears throat> and here's where we're getting started now I told them I wanted to plant today uh, knowing we weren't going to but to create an urgency tomorrow we're definitely putting things in the ground tomorrow ah. uh, maybe in a scary monster mm. I absolutely intend on getting some trees in the ground today. My throat's been bothering me quite a bit and today it's just reached a point that uh, I'm gonna have some issues. We have cardboard down, then we have a nice layer of grass cuttings. Now we're burying everything in wood chips. So we've got one hell of a storm rolling in and it rolled in pretty quickly. We've got two trees planted already. We're gonna try and get a few more before the rain comes. I really wanna get stuff in the ground before the rain. That's the important part. We're about to take down this big beast of a tree and the problem is, I want, I wanna get video of how we're doing it and it just started raining. So I'm gonna to have to do it with the, uh, the other camera, the weatherproof one. This tree didn't fall the way we wanted it to. The rope that we had tied onto it, uh, it didn't break, although it looked like it broke. The rope became untied at the tree. This tree came down right where our bridge is to get across. And now the canal is not filled with water, but the tree's in the way and it's raining. We really need to get this done so we can we gotta get out of here. We're not gonna be able to get much more done in this rain. All right, guys, that's the best we're gonna get for now. We got a couple of the trees planted, but not many. Uh, but at least, like I said, we have something planted. Some of these are in the ground, and that's really the first step. So we're done. I'm I'm finishing up now. We're packing up the truck and headed home. Hey, little man. Look at you sitting up. And there's your big sister. With all the rain, we're not going to be able to bring the truck all the way back. Word is, we're supposed to get afternoon rain every day this week. So tomorrow we could, today we could have the exact same situation that we had yesterday. That post is the property line. So as you see, we're very close. Very close. Alright, this is a Spanish elm. 
And what we've done is we've got a layer of cardboard underneath. We cover the cardboard with grass. Then we're going to bring wood chips and bury this whole thing in wood chips. All right, we're going to go pick up the ebony now. <clears throat> There's a nursery that has cypress. Uh, I don't know how much of that I can get, but I want to get a few trees. All right, well, that's our first stop. Forestry done. We ended up getting 25 ebony and 25 yucca. Well, at least they have cypress. These are really, really small, which is actually good for my purposes. Show me your cut. Where's your cut? I don't see it. I it's over there. Right there. Mm-hmm. Well, that's a little teeny cut. You're okay though, right? Yeah, little teeny. Yeah. You gonna live? Yeah. Okay, live. good. All right, there's an ebony in the ground, ready to go. It's it's gratifying to see these smaller trees in place because when you're putting the trees in and they're 30 feet apart, the main overstory trees are 30 feet apart. It just seems like it's ridiculously far. Then you come in and you put in the other, the smaller, slower growing. Uh, understory trees now it fits it looks right I gotta wonder I just I get here I see this and I think to myself who is the rocket scientist that chose that post it's out my mind. to support this I mean we've got sticks from trees all over this property <laughs> and somebody picked the one that's been cut 90% as the support post. I mean, come on, am I the only one that wonders who did this? I got them. You do? Yeah. Okay. Do. Yeah. I got them to school. All right. I got my water and this. I got this to school. You got that for school too? Okay. Yeah, I got this to school. And okay. the water too. And the water. And a napkin for school. And a napkin for school too. I I'm not positive if I'm even going to be, <clears throat> be able to edit anything tonight. This cold is really starting to kick my ass. And uh, I need to get some uh, rest. So I'm, I'm not sure exactly how we're going to do this. But uh, we're going to see where we are here and go from there. It's a long, drawn-out process. But we've got trees in the ground. We've got the mulched, and we're getting that done. We've got a lot of these trees down and mostly cleared up. So that's done. And question, will I get the chipper back? It's the end of the day. It's almost 5 o'clock. We've got a few things left to do. Uh, I called about the chipper, and of course, you know, they don't answer. Chipper isn't done, obviously. I'm here in the far back corner. I want to show you just how much progress we've got done. Here's what I wanted to show. Do you see the fence posts? You can see where the property line is. Biggest problem we have right now is I've got all this stuff. And I've got no chipper to chip it. They told me they'd have the chipper today. And of course, I don't have the chipper today. You know, they promised me it'd be done today. It'd be ready today. Big surprise, it's not ready. Um, you know, I, I don't understand this. I really don't. I'm completely baffled at how incompetent this is, how long they take. I, I just don't get it. Hey, you're happy, boy. Okay. You want to go to school? Yeah. I've been fighting this cold for uh, a week now, and it's still kicking my ass. But we're out here. We're still working. At least we're still working. Cause it's raining again this morning. So I mean, it's it's good and bad at the same time. We need the water for the trees that are planted, but we can't get more. It's hard to plant new ones because we've got too much water. The beehive 
It's right here. I need to move the beehive before I can take these trees down. Unfortunately, I can't just move the beehive. I have to show up in the middle of the night, after all the bees have clawed in, close the hive up, move it, reposition it, and then reopen the hive. Which is a big pain in the butt. I have to do it after hours. I can't do it like right now. I have a spot I want to put it. I just need to get a few things done. 